Hi and welcome to another Honest video and today I wanted to tell you why I eat banana skins. No, I haven't lost it in lockdown. Well, not totally. But regardless of where you are in the world right now, there has never been a better time to focus on our diets and our general well-being. So though what we eat and drink can't totally protect us from getting unwell, there has been evidence to show that a healthy diet can help boost our immune systems and give ourselves the best possible chance, and that's all we can do, of uh, fighting off illnesses. For a couple of years now, I've been following the research and reporting around gut health. We'll all be aware of the messages that we get on an almost daily basis around the importance of eating fresh fruit and vegetables, um, protein in the form of uh, meat or fish or dairy or plant-based proteins, um, and also including a small amount of carbohydrates too to keep us going, plus fibre. And all that helps us meet our nutritional needs. However, there's another layer on top of this now where um, there's a lot of evidence that exists showing that if we can encourage uh, good bacteria to flourish in our guts, that's going to further improve our health. Which brings me to the humble banana peel. So from everything I've read, forgetting expensive probiotics and the like, the best thing you can do for your gut health is to eat as wide a variety of fruit and vegetables every day, including bananas. And you want to think about eating as many colours of the rainbow as you possibly can in a day. So we know that fruit skins are one of the most nutritious parts of a plant because they're rich in fibre, vitamins, minerals and antioxidants. Banana skins are no exception. Um, in fact, they contain more fibre, vitamins B6 and C than the fruit inside and as well as potassium and magnesium. So the best time to eat a banana is when they're just underripe, so when the skin uh, still has that kind of greenish tinge to it. As bananas age and the skin starts to turn brown, uh, the starch inside them is turning to sugar, so it's less beneficial to eat them at that point. So there's a variety of ways that you can eat banana peel. Um, I use it in banana bread, uh, blend it to use in cakes or muffins. You can even add it to curry sauces and smoothies, which is how I um, eat it most often. So. For the smoothie, I would find it a bit hard going on my stomach uh, just to have raw banana peel in there. So what I do is I steam it very quickly for a couple of minutes and then add the skin in from there so it's a, a little easier going on the stomach. So I'm going to show you now how I make my fibre charged banana peel smoothie. And all you're going to need um, implement wise to make it is a handheld blender like this one, it's as old as the hills, and um, a pan. So here's my banana. I've given the skin a good wash. And what I'm going to do now is just chop the ends off um, and I'll, I'll strip the peel and give it a little steam. Okay, so I'm just going to take my knife and peel the banana. Um, and I just chop it in two to make it easier on the blender when the time is right to go in. I'm popping the skins into this pan and at the bottom of the pan, I don't know if you can see, I've just got a little bit of water, tap water in there, which I'm going to use to steam it. Pan lid on, and I'm going to put this on a medium heat, just literally for a couple of minutes to kind of flash steam it. All I'm looking to do is soften the skin uh, to make it easier on the stomach. Okay, so the skin should be ready now. That's what they look like. The skin goes a little bit um, brown on the edges. That's absolutely fine. So as soon as the water was hot, I just let that steam for two minutes only, and that's then ready to use. So I'm just going to tip the banana skins into this jug here that I'm going to use for the blending. I've got a little bit, about half a cup of tap water in the bottom. Chop up my banana, and then I usually add... Um, just a few grapes or blueberries or something like that um, to sweeten it, give it a little vitamin C boost as well. And my final ingredient is live yogurt. Um, now I include live yogurt for um, more of a probiotic boost. Uh, the other thing you can use is um, kefir and um, just 
putting the yogurt in gives it that um, smoothie taste and texture as well. It would be a little bland if it was uh, just left, just the fruit. Okay, so that's about four or five spoonfuls. I mean, you can adapt to your own taste, obviously. So now I'm gonna give it a very quick blend with the hand blender, and then that's it, gonna be ready, okay? <laughs> And that's my smoothie ready. Um, I did put in a little bit of the water from the pan because I figure it's got extra nutrients from the, the skins boiling down. And I'm just gonna pour it into my glass. You'll see that it's got um, chunks in it. I mean, you can blend it to as smooth as you like. Um, the banana skins themselves are not, never gonna go entirely smooth. Um, so I've still got some little strips of fiber through there. Having steamed the banana, you'll find that when you come to drink the smoothie, the taste of the skin itself is really quite neutral. It probably means that it's a little less sweet than it would have been if you'd just been using the fruit inside. Um, but the biggest difference you'll notice is really in the texture because you've got the, those little fibrous strips of, of um, banana peel in there. Um, for kids, uh, my older son, who's about 15, will drink this, but I have to put a bit of honey in it just to sweeten it. Um, and you can adapt to taste, but I, I have it without any honey. And that is my fiber charged banana peel smoothie. Cheers. So you've been watching another honest video. I would have taken a big old slurp out of this by now, but uh, for those of you who watched my Smile Direct Club review, you might remember that I am wearing aligners at the moment. I've got another couple of months to go and you can't eat or drink anything with aligners in. Um, check out that video and lots more like it on uh, the Honest channel and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>